subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Tonight again, I think I'm gonna be just doing some upper body again. I've been hitting upper body twice a week and it's a lot of volume stuff. So today's just strict press. I think it's incline press and some other stuff. I'll look at it as we go because I can't really remember, but I know we're starting with strict press, three sets of eight. I did condition this morning and I'm absolutely zonked. Don't try conditioning at home, it's not good for you. And also, I want to shout out to a wee boy that's got a hot system like me, you know, and it's uh, he's called Ethan McKenzie. He's a local guy from around in the Highlands. You know, it's cool to have, uh, to have someone with autism that I can actually uh, be a role model for. He's a massive fan, which we thank you for, you know, thank you for the support that you're giving us. And one day you're gonna be strong and big, and hopefully we can get you into the Stoltman Strength Center and let you lift some weight. So Ethan, take it easy, have a great Christmas, and stay spicy. Right guys, three sets of eight, strip press, 110, maybe 120, we'll see. We'll see how strong I feel. What are you prepping for just now, Tom? Absolutely, f*** <laughs> all. <laughs> Europe's strongest man, April. I think April the 3rd. And it's Britain's strongest man, April the 24th. <laughs> I did 100k for one set, 105 for this set, 110 for last set. Let's go. Add up very well. I did 100, I did 110 there. And I'll do this as a 120. This is definitely 120, 20, 40, 50, 100, 120. Quick mass, man's not hot. Right, guys, so this is a strict press. I'm doing eight reps at 120 kilograms. I'm doing this just to help more shoulder power and stability. No belt, as you can see, as well, to help core power. And uh, yeah, a lot of high volume just again to uh, get a bit of a Bodybuilding phase on the go. Numero uno. That's strip press done. Three sets of eight, nothing serious. Now we're doing prison press. Prison press, we press like this and come in. What are you having for dinner, Tom? Steak burgers from Campbell's, potatoes, and some vegetables. So this morning, a Friday morning of all things, I woke up at half, well, I woke up half 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. I was doing conditioning with Matthew for, he knows what conditioning is, because that was brutal, but it's gonna help me be the best. I think, I hope, I love you. See if you, see if you do this, right? See if you eat your finger and go You'll see a photo of me. You are in the news uh, yesterday morning. They was said you are a bodybuilder. How do you feel oh, about that? Oh my days. Does I look like I'm a bodyboarder? <laughs> right, prison press is done. Now we're doing dumbbell bench press. I might go a bit heavier than usual. Baby. So I go in from floor to my knees and then my knees I kick them up to my chest again it's much easier doing this then the first reps always the hardest to get it up and then I do 10 nice kind of controlled and slow movement to really feel the squeeze and really get the full extension as you can see here I'm kind of right down to the pec right up 
right down to the pit, right up, uh, nice and ten, nice ten controlled, and then just throw them on the ground to finish. Finish with the dumbbell bench press. I went up to 70s, the uh, heaviest in the gym for a nice 10 reps. So it's nice to be feeling still strong at this uh, stage in the off season. So I feel good, I feel spicy. And uh, yeah, that's me, I feel frosty. Have you got any uh, gym sweets today? Any gym snacks for us? Uh, I actually stole uh, Becker's and uh, Becker's Haribos. Tommy! What's your favourite sweets, mate? Them things right there. plastics. Flies, just to kind of get the blood pumping around the muscle, and I really focus on the squeeze. You really need to focus on the squeeze here. These are high reps. I think it's something like 12 to 15 reps on these, and as you can see, I'm, <coughs> I'm really squeezing the pecs together, and I'm really staying in the same position the whole way through the movement. Hi, Luke. Miss you. You're looking big, Tom. How much do you weigh now, dude? But well, that's a compliment from Simon. Uh, so basically, I was a 180 at Worlds, but that was to be expected with my lifestyle. I was in a hotel doing nothing. I'm actually sitting about 173, which I'm shocked about. Uh, that's on the scales with no shoes on either. So yeah, I'm probably morning about 171. So if I can maintain between 168 to 172, in the off season and that's going to be big because last year in the off season I was 155, 160 so it's going up all the time but as you guys know I'm doing higher reps like you've seen on all these exercises and my food's still really low to now so I'm not going to go in and deadlift 350 for 8 reps when Britain's and Europe's strongest man ain't till April that's pointless I'm getting that package getting bigger and uh, getting conditioned so you're always raving on about your uh, mouth guard. Do you see any benefits of using it? Well, obviously at first I thought it was kind of a myth, but I see I watched Dragons then when they were actually on and I seen them win and I was like, how the hell did a mouth guard win? But then, if you actually put a pencil in your mouth, so if you basically stand here with nothing in your mouth, like this, you can get pushed down on this side. But if you have a mouth guard or even tested it with a pencil or a pen and bit on it, you can't get pushed down, so it's for me. I think it just balances you, keeps you more centered, and just really, really does. It's benefited me because I remember I used to deadlift a bit over to the side, it's really straightened me up. But also, it protects your teeth, you know. I mean, I have a lot of strong and strength athletes grit their teeth, and this obviously grates that gap so you can squeeze as hard as you want and still squeeze. So that's another thing as well, and it's just that. It's just that pressure between your teeth, so 100% works, you know what I mean? When I had it in for the first few weeks, I was like, this is just getting in the way, but then it started working very well, and I can't train without it now, you know, so. So that's upper body session done. The second one of the week. Um, like I said, it's high reps, nice and light weights. Everything's feeling decent. My body feels good. Luke wasn't here today. He's kind of now deloading a wee bit for his the competition at Brian Shaw's. So he might be in the next maybe one or two days, but after that he's chilling out. So you'll see a lot of my face. He'll be doing a lot of, a lot of vlogging. But um, yeah, guys, thank you for that. A massive thank you for the 100K subs. Subs! A massive thank you from myself, Luke and Simon for the 100k subs. Thank you for the support. So uh, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And ring that little bell. Ding dong, dingy dingy. Dong dong.